Hey, this is your boy Kenny Braswell with Five Flow, five minutes of motivation and not much more. And so this is what I want to talk to you about today. Why is our heart so important in this season? I think that in this season right now, we're in a season of decision making. And we have had to make really hard decisions about who we're going to vote for, um, who we're going to remain friends with, um, how our relationships are going to change with respect to our co-workers with different political um, values and affiliations. And we've had to make a lot of decisions um, in this season. And one of the things I think we should be mindful of with respect to decisions is that oftentimes we make decisions with our heart. And surely we might think that we might want this or we might think that we might want that. But I think that for the most part, uh, we are always making decisions um, with our heart. And I think one of the things to keep in mind or to be mindful of with respect to our heart is that our mouths are revealers of our heart. What do you mean by that, Kenny Braswell? What I mean by that is typically what we say is as a result of what we feel. And so it's very hard for our mouth to say something that our heart doesn't feel. Our heart is simply a revealer of what we feel um, in our heart. It is only capable of either revealing or denying what we really feel. And so we think sometimes that our mouth and our mouth and our tongue does have a lot of power. Don't get me wrong on that. Um, even God says the power of the tongue. And so don't get, think for one minute that your tongue doesn't have power. But what you do need to understand is that your tongue is still a revealer of your heart. And so the reason that your tongue has so much power, the reason that your mouth has so much power, the reason that the words you speak have so much power is because much of what you talk about is what you're feeling. Much of what you're talking about is in your heart. Your mouth doesn't have the ability to discern what your heart is feeling like there's no argument between what you say and what you feel your mouth is not telling your heart you know what I know you're feeling that but I really don't want to say that or I know you might want to say what you're feeling a different way but I don't have the ability to do that as a mouth I only have the ability to do what you're feeling and so when we're talking about this season of making decisions um, we have to kind of understand as we're losing relationships uh, across the board and, and, and things are struggled and we're trying to figure out what side of the fence we're sitting on, that we're in a season where people feel very strongly about the things that they have to make decisions about. You know, our brain for the most part is a prioritizer of everything that our eyes see and our ears hear. And so, and when it prioritizes those things that we hear and feel and see, it is our heart that filters that stuff. And so when our heart filters what we see, when our heart filters what it is, we come up with a determination of how we feel about that particular subject. And then however it is we feel about that, our mouth reveals that. And so it is key to kind of understand when it comes to that, that, and so here's a good thing to think about. If your heart is confused, why wouldn't you believe that what people are saying may make them look confused as well or make you look confused if your heart is confused. And I think that's part of what we're seeing today. I think that people's hearts are confused. They don't know whether or not to show affiliation to this or show affiliation to that. And I think that in this season of decision-making, the task and the challenge that we all have is a challenge of the heart. A challenge of beginning to speak about how we really feel about things and I think that that's going to destroy some relationships I also think that that has the capability 
of strengthening relationships. And so as you go and make your decisions over the next couple of days and as you make your decisions throughout the rest of your life, understand that we make the decisions that are closest to our heart. And so, and those are the reasons why we say yay or nay, or why we go here or we go there, or why we look left or we look right. But all of that has to do with how we feel in our hearts. And so I leave you with just clearly understanding, um, sometimes it's better to ask someone how they feel as opposed to asking them what they said. This is Five Flow. I'm your boy, Kenny Braswell. Make sure you check us out on our partner stations, blaze1radio.com and Fatherhood Today on Fly TV. See you next week. Peace.